Hey there, Wondering Watchers. Welcome to this unboxing and flip through of the Southern Botanic Oracle by Stacy Williams Ng. This is a 45 card Oracle deck and it comes with a 72 page guidebook that highlights the roots, herbs, flowers, trees of the American South. So I backed this Oracle deck on Kickstarter because I also backed the Southern Gothic Oracle by this artist as well. So here I noticed that this is not like a sticker. It's part of the printing of the package, um, which is pretty cool. And it says La Panther Studio LLC, Memphis, Tennessee. And the website is the Southern Gothic Oracle.com. Um, that was the initial deck that I backed uh, on Kickstarter. And so uh, that deck had a, a Haunts expansion pack. I didn't do video for those cards, but I may have to. Um, so I like the artist's uh, work, and I really enjoyed learning about the, the details provided in the guidebook about the American South uh, and the fl for folklore, the plants, animals in the area. So when this deck was announced, um, I had to to get that, especially because of the poison expansion pack that comes with this deck. So um, I'm noticing here, this is the packet, a special packet that was um, put together as a thank you for the initial 125 backers of this Southern Botan uh, Southern Botanic, is it Botanical or Botanic? Botanic Oracle. So here there is vanilla black tea. There is this poke berry dragon ink and it's a little kind of a uh, kind of worn looking parchment and a thank you note your gift includes tea for use with tea leaf readings ooh and pokeberry ink with handmade paper visit practicalwitch.com uh, backslash gift to view your guide for using these items. Uh, then it gets into the tea leaf reading. The art of divination by tea leaves is known as tessiomancy. Tea leaf reading rooms, oh, tea leaf reading rooms are popular in the southern United States in the 1920s and 1930s. Reading tea leaves for yourself and others can be fun and entertaining as well as insightful. It allows you to explore and develop your psychic skills and your conversation skills. So with a pokeberry ink, pokeweed is common in the South and is surrounded by a great deal of folklore. It is associated with the planet Mars and magically corresponds to courage, hex removal, and banishing. The berries, pokeberries, are used to make dyes and inks. Pokeberry ink was frequently used frequently in the United States during the 18th and 19th centuries. Interesting. See little tidbits like that. I really enjoy learning about it. Okay, so this is the gift, and here is a card uh, for practicalwitch.com that is separate from the um, uh, production, the artist that produces the the Oracle deck, but I believe collaboration here. It's like a Ouija board. It's a good thing it's not a Ouija board because I probably wouldn't want that in my house. Um, okay, so practicalwitch.com, Friday Gladheart, 
author of the Practical Witches Almanac. And then on the back, incense oils, candles and custom brews, psychic tarot and tea leaf readings in Hot Springs, Arkansas. And there's classes in tarot, herbs and witchcraft and podcasts, Practical Witch Talk. Interesting, okay. So that is not every backer will get that. I was one of the initial 125 because I backed the the first uh, deck, the uh, Southern Gothic Oracle. Okay, so here is the box. Here is the Poison Expansion Pack. So it opens like drawer. Uh, it's similar to how the Southern Gothic Oracle is packaged. And you can see there's extra room here so you can add expansions as they are made. Okay, so here on the back it says lose yourself in the magic of plant lore with the Southern Botanic Oracle. This 45 card oracle deck employs the stories of fruits, flowers, roots, and herbs to unlock your intuition. All the plants in the deck are found in the southeastern region of North America. And if they are not native, such as okra, for example, it is because they are deeply rooted in the culture of the South. It includes a complete guidebook written and illustrated by Stacy Williams Ng. So let's see what we have here. So my understanding is that, uh, oh, here's the guidebook. And there's a little color picture at the beginning, the back, and otherwise it's just a black and white guidebook, an introduction, then a uh, talks about the poison expansion pack. My understanding is this poison expansion pack, there is an additional um, PDF that can be found online with a QR code. So it might be somewhere in here. Um, there's some suggested layouts and then some history about each of the um, items in the deck. Let's see what's at the back here. And about the artist, and there's a picture of the artist. And then um, further reading references for some of the uh, Maybe it's all the references for the flowers that were used or the, sorry, the uh, um, flowers, <laughs> trees, roots, plants, all that stuff. And here is a little sampling of the Southern Gothic Oracle in here. Okay, so here is a little, little tiny guidebook. And... Here are the cards. So the card stock I understand is 350 GSM with smooth matte finish and dimensions being three and a half inches by five inches. The Southern Gothic Oracle, I believe was 320 GSM with rose petal finish but those cards were a bit difficult to uh, shuffle. So um, the artist decided to switch it up and we'll see how this shuffles with the, the different finish on it. So here is the, the card back. You can see how thick the cards are. There's a little bit of flexibility there and Go ahead and start. 
here. Um, maybe I'll just go ahead and open this expansion pack. So it's a little sticker, nine card expansion pack inspired by some toxic roots, flower, and fungi from the south. Um, oracle cards, poison, caution, antidote. Cards are for reading only, not for human consumption. A swallowed try. White of egg mixed with milk for use with Southern Botanic Oracle cards only. Dark. Williams Druggist, corner of South Egg Magnolia, Tennessee. That's cute. So a little sticker on here. And here is that QR code for, um, for the guidebook for the expansion pack. So I'll go ahead and take this off. So I'm just going to add it on in. And it ends at 45, so I, do I start at 1? Do I start at 45? We'll see what the numbers are on here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put this on pause so I can open this expansion pack without bending it. And I am back. So here is the expansion pack. It looks like it doesn't have any numbers on it. So let's just go ahead and I'll stick these at the bottom, flip these over, and we will do the flip through this way. Okay, this way, this way, this way, this way, right here, right here, right here, okay. No, this way. Okay. So here we have Magnolia. And I know I'm going to butcher the formal name. Magnolia Grandiflora Leadership Greatness. So my understanding is each of the cards have like two words to describe the meaning. Um, you can reference the guidebook to read about like the um, how the um, the what is it flora we'll call it flora <laughs> um, are kind of being described and you can also use your own you know um, personal connection with these flowers like for example um if you watch steel magnolias growing up like i have um and maybe can read the guidebook and see if there's something from that movie that resonates with you that's either connected to the guidebook definition or different from it but um you can see here it's just a, a beautiful um like scene. Um, I believe these are initially painted somehow. I'm not sure if this is, I mean, it looks like this looks like a photograph, but I don't think it is at all. I think it's just like paintings. So here we have Lemon Balm, Melissa, Officinalis, Balance Stability. Spanish Moth, Talansia, Usni Otis, Self-Expression Flow. Wait, no, doing that wrong, doing that wrong, okay. Then we have Butter Beans, Fasolus Lunatus, Counting Time Cycles. Pokeweed. Phytolacca Americana, change movement. Oh, I keep wanting to flip them. Okay, watermelon. Citrullus lanatus, responsibility, empathy. Salmon seal. Polygonatum biflorum, ease gladness. 
Oh, see, it keep wanting to flip. Hurt Sebustin. That is a great name for Eunimus Americanus. Removal of obstacles. Catharsis. Rose, Rosa, love, sensuality. That was easy. Hobblebush by Burnham Lantanotis. Maturity experience. I'm just going to have to get into this as if I'm learning like sp spells from like Harry Potter. Periwinkle. Vinca Catharanthus Rosius. Veneration Legacy. Wild Cherry, Prunus Soratina, Passion, Fire. Cypress, Cupressus, Sorrow, Regret. Archangel Root, Angelica Triquinata, Receptivity, Female Essence. Looks like two like wigs hanging on a wall or Dried up jellyfish. Ghost pipe. Ooh. Monotropa uniflora. Reliance friendship. Joe pie weed. U Eutrochium purium. Perceptiveness vision. And okra, Abelmoskius, Moskus, Escalentus, Fortitude, Confidence. You know, if you are in agriculture, uh, florist, herbologist, um, you're probably cringing at how I'm saying these things. Stinking cedar, Toria, Taxifolia, vulnerability, threat. Kind of looks like um, like a Christmas tree, like a pine tree. Hi, John Conqueror. The Hi, John the Conqueror. Impomoia Pandorata, power command. Um, there was John the Conqueror roots in the Southern Gothic Oracle, so I wonder if this is um, kind of like the related. We'll see. Azalea, Rhododendron, Alabamance, ben Alabamance, Temperance Calm. Creep Myrtle, Lagerstroemia, I don't know what SPP means, but Life, Death. So the very much the artwork is similar uh, with the Southern Gothic. So, um, and the, the card back is similar too, though this is green, the other one's like a blue. We have Cotton, Gossipium, her sudden utility advantage. Blue bonnet, lupinus, texensis, bravery, sacrifice. Hickory, caria, ovada, release, letting go. Angel's trumpet, brugmansia, suaviolins. Suspicion turmoil. Collard greens, Brassica oleracea varvidus. I don't know what the V A R dot means, some kind of abbreviation. But collard greens is for wealth and security. Iris, Iris versicolor, faith, hope. Black snake root, Aptea racemosa, boundaries, expectations, 
may pop passiflora incarnata interconnection synergy oh can i flip them rabbit tobacco interesting pseudo gnaphalium obtusifolium optimism gladness Swamp lily, crinum americanum, stagnation, entrenchment. That's really interesting looking. I like I like those like tentacle like. Um, what are those called? S style st something with an S. Stig stigmas something like that. Okay, sugar maple. Acer, Acer, Saccharum, Information, Knowledge, Comfrey, Symphytum, Healing, Protection, Tomato, Solanum, Lycopersicum, Family, Bloodline, White Pine, Pinus strobus longevity bright future. Hellbor helleborus temptation danger. Toadstool amanita muscaria self discovery awakening. Paw paw asamina triloba celebration fruits of labor. Strawberries, Fragaria ex ananasa, fertility youth. Those look, those look like, like a photo, but I think it's legitimately a painting. Oak, Quarus hero icon, honeysuckle, lanacera, ethereal. Beauty and shyness, hydrangea, hydrangea macrophylla, gratitude, peace, tobacco, nicotiana, controversy, paradox, monkey ball, maclura, pomifera, weight, rigidity, star jasmine, Tracolos premium jasminoides spiritual gifts abundance and now here's the expansion we have hairy vetch visia velosa reciprocity trade-offs deadly nightshade atropa belladonna vanity self-absorption wolfsbane Aconitum reclinatum, magic transformation, Jimson weed, Datura stram stramonium, delirium and confusion. We have poison ivy, toxicodendron radicans. Irritability, profanity, death cat mushroom, amanita phalloides, avarice foul play, fairy lily, zephranthus, mischief sabotage, water hemlock. Sakuda Macalata, Subversion to Feats, Mountain Laurel, Calmia Latifolia, Crisis Trouble. And there is the, uh, the phone, uh, the QR, the QR code to scan for the guidebook. So let's see how these all shuffle. You can see the expansion pack is like perfect, perfectly. It's pretty much 
as if it's part of the pack, but extra. All right, so let's take a look at how it shuffles. Um, I think it shuffles pretty well, doesn't stick. Um, it's pretty sturdy. Let's do it again. Uh huh. I think it shuffles really well. Let's do this way. My fingers aren't really long for that way, but that's good as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's take a look at let's take a look at one of these spreads here. Let's take a look at the suggested layout. So there's a two card spread. Um, one card, then there's the three card, and then mixing of the depths with the tarot cards and oracle cards. Um, well, let's, let's do a three card. Why not? Let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. Three cards, they suggest past, present, future, or there's the three card spread of the whole self, the emotional, the physical, the spiritual, um, looking for answers, the root of the issue, obstacles in my way, key to solving a problem. Hmm, let's do the whole self. Maybe we can do that about this, this deck. Uh, the emotional aspect of the deck, the physical aspect of the deck, the spiritual aspect of the deck, sure. Why not? Those three cards and then I'll go ahead and pull, or sorry, once I pull those three cards, um, I'll read the guidebook so you can get a flavor, a sense of the flavor of the guidebook for those cards. So the emotional, physical, and spiritual. Let's get three cards for that. Mix it up a little bit more. Emotional, physical, spiritual. So for emotional, we have May Pop, Passiflora, and Kanata, and Interconnection Synergy. Let's see here. Physical, we have Tomato, the family bloodline. And for the spiritual, we have Fairy, Lily, Mischief, Sabotage. Okay. Let's see here. I don't know if any of those were the expansion, but we'll see. Let's see. So May Pop. Number 20. Oh, it is an, an expansion because it doesn't have a number. 29. So I'm going to read this description first. The passion flower or maypop is native to North America and is particularly special because it is the exclusive host for the Gulf fritillary butterfly. In other words, without this plant, which provides the ideal nectar for the species, this butterfly would die off. The two exist in a symbiotic and fully interconnected relationship. Oh, interconnection synergy. That makes sense. Okay, considered a spiritual herb the and representative of the crucifixion, passion of, the Christ, of Christ, the leaves and roots are often dried and used in house blessing spells to bring peace and divine blessings to a home. It is also used in love charms to attract or keep a lover. Everyone and everything is interconnected. We are all a part of a social web of life. Our very survival depends on the air we breathe, the trees in the forest, the tides, and thousands of other unknowable cycles of nature. When we forget how dependent we are on others and instead fool ourselves into thinking we are alone, we manifest loneliness. 
Be like the butterfly and find your place in the ecosystem of life. So the uh, emotion of this deck is um, interconnected. So let's get into the physical of it with this tomato. Okay, in southern grocery stores, the tomatoes often have their own section as they are available in so many varieties and sizes. Perhaps you have seen the term heirloom tomatoes, meaning that those fruits have were grown from seeds passed down by farmers for many years. In other words, if the seeds have been handed down long enough to produce unique tomatoes with their own unique evolution, the resulting tomato is an heirloom. You are such a fruit. You are descended from untold hundreds of ancestors, and your bloodline stretches further back in history than anyone can possibly know. How do you think of yourself when you consider your place in that bloodline? Do you look back with pride and admiration for their courage, or do you cringe at the legacies of toxic forebears? Either way, you inherit genetic material from them all, good and bad. You are not your ancestry, but most certainly a child of their bodies and the direct result of their experiences. What will you make of that? Interesting card for the, uh, the physical aspects. And now let's look at the, at the fairy lily that represents the spiritual aspect of the deck. So let's get into this QR code. I'm doing this QR code right now and bringing up that guidebook to see what it says about fairy lily. Okay, so you can see here is the guidebook on my phone for the, the uh, Poisons expansion pack. Okay, so Fairy Lily, let's see here. All right, Fairy Lily, put this away. In the Ozark region, mountain people have a rich tradition of beliefs surrounding land spirits, mostly from their Appalachian and before that Celtic ancestors who mixed old world fairy traditions with the beliefs of the indigenous people that they encountered in their new land. All this was rolled together into a folk belief about mischievous fairy spirits in the space between worlds, little people. This is not to be mistaken with the euphemism in America for people with dwarfism or of short statute stature, but rather the term little people in this context is the name used for fairy spirits. Fairies, fae or little people, are typically considered mischievous and tricky by hill folk and should not be interacted with unless one knows exactly one is up against. Conjure workers and witch doctors advise against making offerings or promises that you can't follow through on. Fairies, it is believed, are tricksters, and they like to make nefarious deals. With the Fae, there are no gifts. Every transaction is an exchange, and it's never fair. The Fairy Lily card stands for mischief and sabotage. Star-shaped Fairy Lilies contain alkaloid and lycarine compounds, poisons known to be highly toxic. They may be beautify your garden, but the price might be a fatally poisoned pet. What kind of sabotage have you exposed yourself to? Maybe you're faced with a dark deal, an unfair exchange, or advised to examine the other party's true motives. Interesting. So this has to do with land spirits, which um, is the spirituality of the deck. So that's what I have for you with the Southern Botanic Oracle, not Southern Botanical Oracle. And if you have any experience with this, um, questions, comments, points of view, uh, I would love to hear about it. 
Until we see you next time, take care.